I'm Bryant Gumbel with a tale of two cities, Williamsport, Pennsylvania and Ferguson, Missouri. While one now symbolizes a sports dream for some young black kids, the other is far too often their reality. Both are very much in the news these days, Ferguson for the racial tensions arising from the killing of an unarmed black youth by a white policeman. Williamsport for the heroics of some aspiring African-American athletes. The athletes are an all-black team that's representing Chicago in the Little League World Series. And Monet Davis, a young girl of color whose phenomenal pitching has led her Philadelphia team to that same series. Now one could argue that what they are doing in Williamsport and what's going on in Ferguson are worlds apart. But I can assure you that to African Americans, they are not. Because while the story of a kid rising up from the inner city and starring in sports is a cliche ridden stereotype in this country, so too is the story of the black kid being killed by somebody with a gun. In some cases, kids like Trayvon Martin or Michael Brown become known for dying at the hands of white authorities. But more often than not, they remain faceless victims of senseless violence that is too often black on black. The kids in Williamsport are playing to well earned cheers now. But it is hard to ignore the fact that they come from two cities that combined have already seen over 400 homicides this year, and that they live in a country where history shows they are far more likely to be shot by some guy with a badge than their white counterparts. Caught in that depressing crossfire of black on black crime and the increasing regularity of death by cop, there's real reason to fear and wonder if today's stars may yet be tomorrow's targets. I'm Bryant Gumbel.